Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. With roughly 1,500 licensed nurses in Guam caring for thousands of patients every day, the consequences of any unsafe or unethical behavior can be serious. Because of this, Executive Officer Marlene Carbolito said the Guam Board of Nurse Examiners works tirelessly to ensure these incidents are handled appropriately. Last year, we had several case complaints before the board. Um, if you recall, one was um, the, the baby, her fingertip was severed. So we um, entertained that complaint and that was resolved. The well-publicized case of an infant whose fingertip was severed at the Guam Memorial Hospital was investigated by the board, resulting in the responsible nurse facing disciplinary action and a fine. Some of the cases currently under investigation include a GRMC nurse terminated for discrepancies with opioid medication, member Dr. Kevin Hitosis. She came before the board and um, answered to the allegations. Um, in our investigation, we found that there were uh, some 60 tablets of various opioid medications that were not accounted for. Another is a more concerning case involving a nurse who practiced beyond their respective license. Who delivered a, um, a baby without having a physician present at the time, who also documented without the physician uh, on the unit. Um, and had also um, wrote an order for prescription of medications. Carbolito said investigations can range from serious practice related allegations such as these to issues of sexual misconduct, fraud and abuse. Fortunately, these cases are few and far between. I want to say approximately 10 cases a year of complaints of nursing practice violations. Each investigation takes a minimum of six months to complete and can result in consequences ranging from probation to limited practice and even license revocation. So that is the most severe and we haven't had any of those, I would say, in the past two or three years. While uncommon, she said it's critical to both report and investigate these incidents with the goal of ensuring patient safety. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.